Three things that you need to start to plan for when getting your real estate license. You gotta pick a school, you need to be prepared for your dues, and you gotta pick a brokerage. So in another video, I talked about the two different schools that are in the Valley. Pick which, one, which one's gonna be best for you based on budget, um, you know, training materials, and what types of other resources that they provide. Um, you know, your dues, your dues are gonna be around a grand um, because you have to pay for your MLS access, um, your Weimar dues for the West Valley, which is your uh, West Maricopa County Association of Realtors, um, NAR access. So you need, there's a lot of stuff that you need to pay directly once you get your license, because you gotta pay the state as well. Um, so make sure you have the, the dues part um, figured out. You can always contact the rep over at, at Weimar and they can give you very specific fees for things that they will be charging you for. And also there's the dues that are um, with the state that are available online. So, and then the last one here is a brokerage. Who you work with matters. So make sure that you're interviewing more than one brokerage and you're asking them questions because you're interviewing them and they're interviewing you and you guys wanna make sure you're a good fit. So um, and don't just ask about leads and don't just ask about splits because you're not learning anything in school that you're gonna use. So once you get your license, you're starting from scratch. The most important thing is a true education and everybody's gonna say they have a training program. Ask them more about the specifics. How detailed does it go? You know, how comprehensive is it? Make sure that you, know, you get the shadowing one-on-one, -on -one, um, that it doesn't just teach you how to use the MLS and how to work the process. Does it teach you how to generate business? Does it teach you, you know, scripts and stuff that you need to use to talk to people? And um, does it talk, go in depth of all kinds of, you know, selling techniques and mindset and, and all the other stuff that you need to learn that's not just, imp it's not just important to learn about the actual one client that you're working with and what that process looks like. And also, you're gonna hear a lot about this in school, about the difference between teams and independent agents. So if you're an independent agent, it is exactly what it sounds like. You are yourself and you represent yourself and the broker and everything that you do comes from you. So, you know, self-starter that can figure out how to make things happen on their own in that aspect of things, just like poof, I can get it done, then that might be a good fit for you. Um, if you like to be the one in charge and you don't want to have to play nice with others, that's perfect for you as well. Um, the team model provides a lot more support um, and not just through leads, but through you know education and um, all the marketing and transaction process. So that might be more appropriate for you, especially if you're getting into the industry for the first time. So I would strongly recommend you do your homework on both. As always, I'm here to help out in any way. Feel free to reach out to me. Um, you know, we're on all the social media channels. You can reach out to me directly and I'm happy to help.